guys, welcome back to my channel. Sorry if my parents... I want to stop saying that just because my parents never look good for these videos. Um, I haven't washed my hair in two days. I'm extremely tired. I didn't get a nap today, and I decided to do this last minute. So, I just threw on some pajamas. I chased my dog into my neighbor's yard just a few minutes ago. So, that's real life. But, I decided I'm going to start doing weekly updates instead of... Um, combining a couple weeks at a time for videos just because I am 36 weeks today so I figured since I'm at the end of the road it would be a good idea to start doing weekly updates and make it kind of easier on myself so I don't have to edit such a big long video and I can get videos out quicker for you guys and it would make a good foundation of me uploading more often been slacking the last few weeks um i haven't had much time to myself to film just because daniel's job at the time was a little slow uh so he wasn't working as much so i wasn't home as much so i didn't have a lot of time to film i do feel like to film when i'm by myself just to make it easier um not make me feel so awkward and i have more places to film so, Daniel got a new job, and I have a lot more time to myself, so that gives me more time to film for you guys. So, if you guys have any suggestions on what kind of videos you want to see soon, um, I am going to start vlogging a little bit here and there. Um, when the baby comes, I just feel like that will um, give more content, just because literally my life right now is get up, pee 15 times, feed the dogs, pee some more, feed the cats, pee again, um talk myself into eating something because I need to eat breakfast, but I'm not a breakfast person. Um, let the dogs out a few times and get myself going, like, with a shower and what I need to do for the day. Um, so I don't find that that interesting, but I know when the baby comes, I will be more on a routine. I would have more content for you guys. So please let me know what kind of videos you like to would like to see on my channel um it's not i don't really want to consider myself a family channel because i do cuss i am extremely open about to talking about anything uh so i don't want to call myself a family channel so whatever you guys want to see let me know um i don't care if it's raunchy i don't care if it's drug and alcohol related i don't care if you just want to see my dogs i don't care if you just want to see my cats I don't care what it is, just let me know, or you can DM me or comment on uh, my Instagram photos, so if you haven't followed me on Instagram yet, <clears throat> go follow me and talk to me on there, that's where I really want to um, communicate with you guys, I am on Twitter too, but I get on there to like look at other people's stuff, like I watch on YouTube, those people, um, I do have a Snapchat, but I never... I don't even have Snapchat on my phone. I don't even use Snapchat for myself, and I feel like Instagram and uh, Snapchat has kind of interweaved, and I'd rather use Instagram, and I like that platform a lot better than Snapchat. So go ahead and follow me on there, but I'm going to be talking about my 35-week update. I'm 36 weeks today. Our last update, I talked about how I was having trouble sleeping. I would be waking up every 20 or 30 minutes. Lots of pain. I'm not going to make that an update this week because just know I'm having pelvic and back pain a lot. But I've been having a lot of trouble sleeping in the past, the last couple weeks. But this week I feel like I've been sleeping longer periods of time. And I've been sleeping in a lot more. With Daniel's new schedule, we don't have to get up as early. So we have been sleeping um, about 8-9 hours a night, which is good from the six hours that we was getting or Daniel was getting because I didn't get up at 5 a.m. with him. So I've been sleeping longer periods of time and that's really great but I've also noticed I'm still extremely exhausted through the day. Um, even though I sleep eight or nine hours I still want to take naps through the day or take naps like after a couple hours of being up and I 100% do that because I'm extremely tired right now. Um, it's starting to get warmer in my area so i'm not sleeping as well i am sleeping through the night but not as well as i could be because we like our house ice cold and it hasn't been ice cold because our air needs to be recharged fiona leave the cats alone they don't like you but i could be sleeping better so even through the day um i've been just taking naps just because I can and I'm resting up as much as possible 
I have also noticed I'm getting hungrier more often. Uh, there was a point in my pregnancy where I was hungry. You don't bite me. I was hungry when I woke up. Um, and I was getting hungrier more often and that kind of went away for a little bit. Um, I didn't get hungry as soon as I woke up or I didn't have to eat as soon as I woke up. Um, there's a point where I had to eat or I would literally get sick. That's not the case anymore, but I do notice that I'm starting to get a little bit of lightheaded if I don't eat, even if I'm not hungry. So I make sure I try to eat at least a banana or something through the day. Um, till I get hungry or I just go ahead and make myself eat a meal. But like I said, I've noticed I've been getting hungrier often if I eat and then like two or three hours later I'm hungry again and I think that's maybe because he's dropping a little bit and um, my stomach has more room for me to eat everything I want. So the thing that I've noticed that I have been extremely thirsty this week um, and the only thing, if I'm really thirsty, the only thing that can quench it is water like right now i'm drinking sweet tea but um i mostly drink water i keep this cup full of ice water all the time just because i'm so thirsty and i have to have it next to my bedside at night time and i couldn't tell you how many times i chug water through the night uh, which is not a bad thing i need to get into drinking more water anyways definitely if i'm going to be breastfeeding I am going to get, be drinking a lot of water. And another thing that I have noticed week 35 is my dog sees someone outside. I guess it's my neighbor or something. Um, week 35 is that I've been getting some light cramping in my lower stomach and in my lower back area. Sometimes it's kind of like a sharp pain here and there, but mostly it's like light cramping, kind of like I'm about to start my period or something. Um, I don't know if that's Braxton Hicks or if that's just my body getting into labor or whatever it is. I don't know. I'm going to mention it to my doctor tomorrow, but uh, that's just something new, completely new that I've experienced this pregnancy. Um, of course, in the beginning, you're going to feel some kind of cramping. Hi. <coughs> Hi. You want to go outside and run after people? You want to go outside and run after people? What? You being a little baby? No, go the round. But I am going to ask my doctor about that. Um, I, like I said, I don't know if it's just my body preparing to go into labor. I am 36 weeks, so today. So it's getting there. Um, like I said, I'm going to be doing weekly updates now. Hopefully, that'll get me the get me into filming more. I'm going to try to pre-film a couple videos for you guys so when I am in labor, um, I do have a couple videos up for you guys. So, let me know what kind of videos that you want to see. Like I said, um, you can comment down below or go onto my Instagram and let me know. Um, and one of those videos... When it is uploaded, I will let you guys know that if you see that video, it's because I'm in the hospital and I will be doing, updating everything about my labor and all that on Instagram. I don't think I'm going to record just because the only thing I have to record on is my phone and I feel like I just want to be in the moment and not be worrying about filming. I might have snippets here and there and include it in my labor vlog or labor story or whatever i haven't decided what i was going to, i'm going to do yet i want to film videos for you guys but i don't feel like i'm that type of person to film the labor and delivery vlog vlog sorry i'm getting a lot of heartburn hiccups in it, it freaking sucks but i'm not the type to film labor and delivery vlogs and pull a camera out while I'm giving birth or anything like that. I just want it to be between me and Daniel and experience that together. That's something that you're not going to forget. And I don't feel like my child's going to want to look back and see me pushing him out or screaming about pushing him out. So I'm just going to probably get little snippets and include it into my labor story or whatever I decide to do. But that is it for this video. Please turn on your bell notifications so you know when I am uploading. I am going to be uh, doing weekly videos, hopefully the updates, and throw in a couple here and there more. I do want to upload a video of like a day in the life of what I eat 
with gestational diabetes because I know that's pretty normal and when I've looked up videos on it before I didn't really find much so um, I was going to make a video about when I wake up me taking my blood sugar what I eat through the day for it and what I realistically do for it because I'm really not changing my diet I'm just watching more of what I eat and when I do like go out to eat how much I eat um, I'm going to completely ignore that I ate 20 chicken nuggets the other day so that was like a restart um, but I do want to make those kind of videos for you guys. So please, like I said, let me know what kind of videos you want to see. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Bye.